Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We got another Texas whiskey. It's from Andalusia. And from Buddy Bill. And we're going to test it! Gift bottle style. Smoke Texas whiskey style. Ooh. He goes from Buddy Bill. It was real Buddy quick. Buddy Bill, yeah. Buddy Bill is what he said there. So I could have been Buddy. Bloody, Bloody Bill. Bloody Bill. Bloody Bill. I want that to be his new nickname. I'm gonna, every time I see him, be like Bloody Bill. Uh, Bill is uh, Roy Octavitay's friend. He joined yep. us in uh, Scotland. We got to know him real good. Spent yep. several days with Bill. They were Great guy. London work buddies. Yep. Back and uh, he arranged for us to get Andalusia yes. Striker. Anything called Striker, that's good already. Smoked single malt whiskey. Smoked. 50% ABV. Yes. From Texas. Do I like stuff? Blanco, 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 Texas. Blanco means white. White. White Texas. That's you always had a spike today. In <laughs> that's how much I like this one. Uh, on. In one of our old grumpy dummies. Reviews the uh, yes, we Kentucky did. Deluxe. I need yes. to well, look up and see how that's doing because earlier today, all of a sudden, for some reason, that was spiking. Oh, dropped a little a bit. Coins. If you ever drop a little bit, get it on your hands. I don't like that. I don't get good luck with that. Maybe Smell I've got too much it. in my hands. I love it. Uh, I was at a board game convention when a guy poured a, like what would be the size of a dime in your palm and then you rubbed it together and then you came and snosed it three different times. And it was brilliant. Brand new Cask 5 coins available Ooh, on our website. 802 stamp, dumb stamp. We're already over 800. We only have about 50 left to sell. Once those are gone, we go back to the pre number. So get in there, uh, right. reorder your existing number. I'm going to explain that stamp one more time. So we, have, we save, we hold on to the 750 down because a lot of people will call and say, I want. Uh, or they'll email say, I want my number 652. Mm -hmm. And you'll go, got it. However, we got 850 coins, so we've got 100 to work through before we have to open those up. So if you've got a coin and you want to get the matching number, get on it. Get on it. Yeah. Yep. Get on it. Speaking well of said. Get on it, this is, what's the 50% uh, ABV. Mm -hmm. I said that. Okay, it's a certified Texas whiskey with a star. That's good. A lone star, in case you missed that it was from Texas. Red hot cinnamon, strong. Yeah, good call. Almost atomic no, fireball. No, it's like the it's the pure cinnamon that you use to Ooh, make the cinnamon an extract. candy. Yeah, an, the cinnamon, cinnamon extract. extract. I will I will concur. Yeah, and sagebrush accompanies a lot of Texas mm. whiskey. See, I get a brown sugar. I don't know if I have sagebrush on this one. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's in there. I get a little touch of it there. That's from the Texas heat. It's pulling extra stuff out of the, the barrels. <laughs> extra stuff is pulled out. Because it gets hot in Texas. It does get hot. Blanco, can... Texas. Man, I get beautiful brown sugars here, though. What, what's surprising is I don't get a lot of smoke. Maybe caramelized brown sugar where it's yep. melted in the yeah. pan into like a syrup. Grandpa Clump. and, the, and the clumps. <laughs> I, I loved dried, clumped brown sugar going in the oatmeal. The nose, it feels But see, here's strength. the deal. Are you, getting, are you getting smoke? I don't. No. Yeah. I mean, it's a little bit of the sage, like a smoked sagebrush. Right. A little bit. Subtle. 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 Other sweetnesses, that cinnamon extract. Even, even vanilla extract. It's really concentrated. Really strong. Now get ready. <laughs> get ready. I can tell. The nose <laughs> is secretive. He's getting a burst, a concentrated burst of both cinnamon mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. smoke right now. Mm -hmm. And it is very close to the cinnamon extract wrapped mm -hmm. in a powerful, uplifting poof of dragon smoke. It is very nice. Yes. Wrapped in, I was going to say wrapped in a tobacco leaf. Mm. A cigar wrapper. 
I could see that too. But I, some, I see is like dragon smoke or when someone blows smoke right in your face, but it's kind of a sweet tobacco. This will be gross to some, but tobacco juice, spit. <laughs> and I don't, I, I've tried chewing when I was younger. I never took to it. Always made me sick. All my buddies were chewing. Uh, I tried it in high school, got sick. In college, all my buddies were chewing. I tried it, got sick. I was in the military. All my buddies were chewing. Tried it, got sick. That was the end of that. Well, it only took three. Yep. <laughs> But over years, winter wintergreen. That's why wintergreen skull. I tried Levi Garrett plug. I felt like I was a frontiersman. And it makes you salivate as yeah. well, just like chewing tobacco. I'm really getting chewing yeah. tobacco, wintergreen chewing tobacco. Really? See, in the background, for after it's gone now for a while, that's where I get the sagebrush coming. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. And the, the smoke lingers mm. as a good smoked whiskey should. It should, should, does. That is, yeah. That is good. This is delectable. That is good. This is nice. This is, again, where I'm saying, go Texas, go. What Texas is doing with the whiskey is right. Hmm. Pulled pork. I don't know why. Well, we did have barbecue earlier, but, but no I just pork. tasted pulled pork. We had brisket and link. Uh, this is a single malt as well. Yeah. I don't know if you said that. American single malts just killing. Killing. Uh, Stryker single malt whiskey adopts the Scottish tradition of Love smoking that. malted barley. Adopted. That is destined to be used in their signature Isla Scotch. It's adopted and destined. Rather than burning peat, however, Stryker is mashed from malted barley that has been smoked in the Texas barbecue tradition with oak, mesquite, and apple woods. Beautiful. This is backyard barbecue whiskey at its best, my mm, friend. They got me, baby. They got me. Great color, too. And uh, it does say aged more than two years, maybe maybe three years at the most. Uh, in Texas was two years in a month. Could be. Oh, it could be. <laughs> no in Texas, though, and I yeah. believe this is You don't want to leave even, it in too long. Um, this is closer to Austin than Iron Root is, which is farther north right. in Texas. But I'll bet you this may be lucky to be three years old. Yeah, you don't want to leave it in too long. And look what they can turn out in less than three years. Because that is delicious. If I didn't know, mm -hmm. if you gave this to me blind, I would think it was older. Yeah. And that, well, yeah. Yep. I would, I would have thought six years probably if I was given this blind. I might have said eight, six okay. to eight. Um, the brown sugars, the uh, the that beautiful caramelized mm -hmm. brown sugar sweetness. Mm -hmm. The smoke that's in here is not overpowering. It's definitely, as you kind of heard, it's not a peat smoke. There's no iodines here. There's no ashtrays here. It now, is definitely. Uh, yeah. Bill bought this as well. Must have been at the distillery. It's a commemorative bottle purchased purchased in the tasting room. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Bill. You betcha. Beautiful. That's this, very nice. That's good. This is good. This is real good. I tried this first thinking that it was going to fall not as good as the other one he sent us. Even though that one's been engineered a little bit. I don't know why I thought. I, maybe I didn't know anything about it. I was like, whoo, I didn't even go to that one for a while. Good. <laughs> Um, do we know what, did he say? I'm sure he didn't say what the price point is on this. He did not. It's good. Mo uh, most Texas whiskeys aren't outrageous. Most no. of them are reasonable. Yeah. Um, I would say pick it up and give it a try. Oh. No, get it. Get it. <laughs> if you like smoke, if you like peat smoke, you're going to like it. If you just like barbecue smoke, you're going to like it. If you drive past a barbecue restaurant and go, I'm hungry. You're going to want it. That's all I'm saying. It's good. 92. Ooh. 91. 92. Because <laughs> I'm at a... I'm going to... Hold on. 91. 91. We're, we just converged. 91. 91. I was leaning 90. 91. I think a big part of it is it caught me off guard a little bit. I think... I don't know why... I think I was 
with all those cinnamons, I thought it was going to be sparky and, and fiery and, mm. and youthful. And it's savory. It's delectable. And it's, and it's brown sugar caramelized. Mm. Speaking of brown sugar caramelized. It's getting better, too, just as it's been the time that we've had it in the glass. Yeah, sitting, smell yeah. it. Smell that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the smell. smell that. <laughs> oh, I don't want to smell your bee. <laughs> if anybody's watched the old 16 bottle shootout, that was the rye shootout. Yeah, that was the third rye. bracket. Go watch the third bracket. That's what that is. Bad Santa comments. <laughs> so, speaking of caramelized, a couple weekends ago, depending on when you watch this, I guess, back in July of 2019 was our third That's annual. That's the way to explain it. Yep. Yep. That's our, the way. Our third annual 12 Hours of Boom. Third annual Boom. What is the boom, you ask? We do 12 hours of live streaming. 12 individual episodes. That's crazy. 45 minutes on with a 15-minute break in between. Boom. We bring on different guests through yep. the day. They remote in from, from different aspects world. of the whiskey industry. We bring in other YouTubers. We bring in Instagrammers. We bring in distilleries, We've brand authors. ambassadors, authors. So we bring in a host of people. Right. We... We create the 12 events beforehand, nice. and we post them to YouTube. They are events. So, so then, then, but then we share them with the people we're having on right? in case they want to put it on their website, if they want to tweet about it, well, if it they does want multiple to Instagram. Things, all that, and it also tells the boom watchers, the watchers of the boom, mm -hmm. what, what's coming in the different segments. Because let's be honest, we don't expect people to watch all 12. Do no. some... They do. They do. It's amazing. They make How an many? event. Yeah, yeah, they make an event. They get their whiskey, whiskey club together. But you may look at it and say, you know what? I've got to mow. Which two am I going to miss? Mm -hmm. I'm going to miss that one and that one. Yeah. So you've got foreknowledge. Foreknowledge is good knowledge because it's four. <laughs> <laughs> but what does it do to others, Bad Santa included? I like you guys. But I'm kind of annoyed you flooded my subs list with all the reminders of your 12 hours of boom. So, Not cool. So they weren't reminders. They were pre-staged events. They're notifications. Right. So they're not reminders. Which, if you are subscribed to our channel and you don't like the notifications, if you don't like the emails... Unclick the bell. Unclick the bell. However, click the bell if you want to be given for foreknowledge. Yep. Yeah. Actually, though, we did lose, we lost 80, quite a few, 85 people 85, unsubscribed 80, to us during the 85 people period. were also annoyed. So, <laughs> there were some annoyed. 85 out of 13,000, though, that's what I want to say. And that happens every year, actually. We do lose some. Uh, some every people just boom. don't like the notifications. Yeah, every they, they boom, get reminded. too much. Yeah, I think they get reminded, oh, here's this channel, I don't really watch that Right, much. I haven't watched and, them. Now they're digging me 12 times. Yeah. Ding! Ding, ding, delete. <laughs> I don't want to be yep. dinged any longer. But then they missed the boom. They missed, uh, they missed the turn the frown upside down. Yep. Sorry, Bad Santa. You that missed was, out. That was an event. I bet you Bad Santa still watched. He's basically he letting us has. know. I think he watched. He loves us, but it was annoying. Some people are triggered by the You know what? I was, <laughs> yeah, some people are triggered by me. I thought maybe when I first started to read that, I thought, dang, I pissed Bad Santa off. And then it was the notifications, not me. That was the key. So there you go. But that explains a little bit inside the baseball. So if you haven't subscribed, do so now. Make up for the 85 that got dinged. They did not want foreknowledge. Enough said. Patreon. Big help to the channel. We Huge. appreciate it all. We've had some new ones come on. Huge. The Alchemist. Love it. It's a, it's a, a num de plum. Mm -hmm. We met the Alchemist in Scotland. Yep. Should we uh, know it? It's two dollars. Yep, he's a two dollar supporter, so The Alchemist! Yes. Woo! He's got a V. He's got a V. And he's like a chemist. Yeah. But but he Go can, figure. He works in all kinds of things. Alchemy. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Um now he I think I think the Alchemist was right before the yep, right before the twelve hours boom. So we'll do a couple here that came on during the 12 hours. Actually, let's just do all. We had four people come on during the 12 hours of boom. Let's do them all. So let's do them all. John Conrad, come on. That's two dollars. Oh, John, John Conrad! Conrad! Come on down. Woo! Go, John.
go. That's J O H N. Stuart Loon. Loon? Loon? Long? That's interesting. Loon or Long? L -E -U -N -G. Loon. I'm going to Stuart Loon. Okay, I'll go with you. I, I think it's Star Art. Stu. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Star Art. We know that. I know that's, um. I know that's Stuart. <laughs> It could be Leung. No, I... I Lung. 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 I think Lung. it's Lunger. Hey, Lunger. Stuart Lung. Stuart Lung. Stuart, Stuart Lung. Lung. Thank you. He's we play like, with names. He'll be like, uh, delete, right delete, delete. What am bastards. I doing? Spencer Gaskill. He came on. No, he won. He won a... He came on and then he later wins. won. That's... Or maybe he... No, I think he won during trivia. Ooh, Spencer okay. Mav. Okay. Remember the username, and then he came on Spencer Gaskill. So, so he won. Uh, One dollar. He won using his brain. Yep, if not, I remember right. Not just a random. If I remember right. Siri. And then uh, Mark Adams came on as a one dollar supporter as well during the twelve hours of Boom. So thank you guys. Mark Adams, thank you, Mark. Boom Appreciate supporters. It. Boom supporters. That's right. Cool. And uh, let's see, we scored it. We talked about uh, if it's worth it. Of course, we don't know the range, price range on it, but uh, uh, Bad worth. Santa was triggered so <laughs> scotch it you scotch gods so launch it dummies, dummies.